My name is Elevote, but my real name is Elliot. So I'm playing Overwatch, the game Overwatch, and I'm playing in the Overwatch League, which is the best 20 teams from all around the world. We got teams from America, from China, from Korea, from Europe, literally all around the globe. It's a global phenomenon. Uh, I mean, just uh, esports in general, it's been growing the past few years and it really shows from all around the world. Like Korea has a really good infrastructure for esports and the rest of the world is now growing. What's the most exciting thing that's happened to you since starting in the Overwatch League? Just being able to travel with my teammates that are now my friends. We get to travel. I went to Australia this past summer. We went there for a week and a half. Stayed in an amazing hotel, we, were, we did things, we pet kangaroos, we went to amusement parks, and it, it was just a great time. Playing in games, uh, what gets you excited about it? Everything, the competition, I'm a very competitive person myself. And also the, the things you can do in the game, there's such a high skill ceiling that normal people wouldn't get it. Talk to me about that. Like, what, what, what do you mean by a high skill ceiling and that, uh, that a normal person wouldn't get? Okay, so if you take soccer, for example, you can be an okay player, but be on a good team. Because you could just work on your cardio, work on your ball dribbling skills, and just pass around the ball. But in video games, you really have to be next level. You have to do everything. You have to be good at communicating, good at hand-eye coordination, and all of that. What do you like most about this game? Just the adaptability. The, this is such a team-based game that you have to communicate with five other players and work together as a team to beat the other team. And, but there are other games that you would play uh, that would be team-based. What makes this different from, say, Call of Duty or anything like that? This is more of a more of an FPS MOBA, I would say. Because in Call of Duty, there's only gun shooting. This is where you have, you have abilities, you have ultimates that you have to use as well as just shooting. So it's, it's more complex than just Call of Duty. And um, what brought you to Washington? Well, luckily I got picked up. Uh, I've been playing this game since it came out. Uh, I've been playing professionally for two years. And then I was playing for Team Envy in uh, Dallas, in America. I got picked up last season at the, towards the end and now I'm here. You're the home, hometown team right now, so what, what gets you going about being here? It's an amazing city and especially with all the history as well and it being the capital of the United States, I feel honored to represent it. So you're from Sweden? Yes. Talk to me about Sweden. What was it like growing up in Sweden? So I grew up in a very small village up in North Sweden. So we had about a 2,000-ish population where I live and uh, you didn't really get to do anything there. All we had was basically a soccer field and uh, a basketball court, and that's all we had. So I would gravitate towards video game mostly because there wasn't really anything else to do. You grew up in a population of 2,000 people, and you're here now in a pretty big city in the US. There's a huge difference. How oh, is yeah. that for you? The, the biggest difference, I feel like, is the, the availability. The availability we had back in Sweden, we had one store, it would close at 8 p.m. So if you didn't get there in time, you, you didn't get anything for the night. That, and you're here now. Yeah. So what do you think about uh, D.C.? It, it still closes pretty early for me. But <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about it? I haven't explored it as much as I wanted to, but I've been to Georgetown and I really like the city. Yeah. Georgetown, what did, what did you do in Georgetown? I ate some pizza and just looked around. Do you, what do you do outside of uh, esports? What do you do outside of video gaming? Right now, oh, when it's not in season, I usually hang out with friends, play soccer, and that's about it. I don't really do anything else than video games, since this is my hobby and I get to do it for a living. So as soon as I get home from work, I just play more video games. Do you play anything other than Overwatch? Almost no. I rarely play other games than Overwatch. I tend to focus mostly on Overwatch because it gets me better and I don't really like any other games at the moment. What got you into video games? I think it was just a competition. Since I was nine years old, I would always look to my brother playing video games because I wasn't allowed at the time. So I would always sit behind him 
and I would just love watching everything he did when he was playing video games. Even when I had to go to bed, I would get my toothbrush and sit behind him for like two hours. And my mom would always yell at me to go to bed, but I was like, no, I can't, I'm brushing my teeth. And I would just sit there for hours upon hours. What makes this a sport? It's not very physical, but it's very hard mentally. Especially if you play six to eight hours every single day against the best players in the world, it's really gonna drain you. Uh, in Overwatch, the, there are ultimates and abilities and all that. So you'll always get a sound cue when specific ultimates or abilities are used. So I think that's part of my reaction. Because as soon as I hear the voice line of one specific ultimate, I'll re react accordingly.